All right, all you haters and potatoes out there. This is going to be a real quick grilling with the good dogs. I'm making some Irish brown bread because uh, we're having some potato soup for dinner, and I got some salmon left over, so I want Irish brown bread to go with it. I do not have any buttermilk, so I have found that you can use a recipe of 2% milk and lemon juice to make buttermilk. I have neither of those. I have skim milk and lime juice. So we're gonna try that out and see what happens. I don't think it's gonna work, but I think it's worth a try. It'll be fun. And that's all we do here in Girl with the Good Dogs is we have fun with some good dogs and good food. Let's see what happens, guys. There's Baby Gee. I don't think she has much confidence in this recipe either. So I got one and three quarter cups of the buttermilk uh, sitting out here. It's gotta get to room temperature. It's still pretty cold, so I'm gonna leave it out for a little while. Then once it's closer to room temperature, I am going to add the lime juice. I need to look up a little bit more on how much per cup to put in there. So let me do that research, let this warm up, then I'll hit you back. Grill with the good dogs. All right, the milk is now about room temperature. So I'll be putting two teaspoons, so it's almost two cups, and it's about a cup per, um, it's a teaspoon per cup. Two teaspoons of lime juice. And there should be lemon juice. We'll see what happens. There's probably enough fat. There's probably not enough fat content in there to curdle the milk. I, this might just become some kind of sour milk monstrosity. I don't know. This will be interesting. Always interesting on Grillo the Good Dog. So the milk did stuff. Did it not, Klein Bear? I guess it'll work. See what happens. Add the milk, some molasses. A little bit of honey to mask whatever taste we're gonna get from this milk. So what what does um, buttermilk do in bread? It uh, adds tanginess to it, which is just a taste additive. We're not too concerned about that. It also slightly helps um, the bread to rise quicker. I I, mean, I think the baking soda is gonna take up eighty to ninety percent of that job. So I'm not too worried about that. Like I said, we'll add the molasses and the honey and see what happens guys so it'll be interesting all right guys if y'all recall our last irish brown bread i mean that looks close enough we will see what happens i'm gonna throw it in there probably give it about 20 or 30 minutes we'll see growing with good dogs mm, i don't know about this recipe so the bread does not look bad looks like it's split apart a bit more than the last one did but I did I used I used something else to cut that cross in the middle uh, I'll let it cool down a bit more and then we'll uh, cut into it see how it came out so Klein it doesn't taste bad at all and I mean looks cooked all the way what do you think bear it tastes perfectly good I'm happy with it there you go that's your skim milk substitute or your buttermilk substitute with Skim milk and lime juice. Do the job, Climb Bear. What you thinking? You yeah, some good stuff, huh? That's what you thinking? Here you go. Come on. Fine, screw you.